5 to 10 billion dollars in economic impact. 5,000 in direct and indirect jobs, 1,700 more people flying into Grand Rapids per week. Those are just some of the possible numbers being thrown around if SuperNAP by switch comes to the pyramid. But are those numbers even possible? And so that's possible over time. They're talking construction projects. They're talking additional visitors. So. It's not completely out of reach. Paul Isley is a GVSU economics professor who routinely creates economic impact studies and without having all the information yet. We'd be talking on the order of a quarter billion dollars a year in economic output. In terms of total GDP increase for Kent and Ottawa counties. Uh, it's really about a half a percent. So it's relatively small. Uh, is in the scope of the entire economy, but that should be no surprise. This is one business. But for every 10 jobs that one business brings in, it would mean eight other indirect jobs are created. So they could be maintenance jobs, uh, they could be people who cut hair, they could be uh, mechanics, they could be uh, just general retail jobs. In the short term, those extra people would cause front end of this would be an increase in rental rates that eventually find its way into supporting housing prices across that region. One place that stands to benefit from this is downtown Grand Rapids. If they're doing jobs for younger workers, they are within commuting distance of downtown. And downtown Grand Rapids is the in place to be. Uh, if you're less than 30. There are still a lot of unanswered questions, but if it does come, it will add to West Michigan's already growing economy. In Grand Rapids, Steve Zagman, WZZM 13 News.